go. What would happen if all immigrants, legal and illegal, quit working in the U.S. dairy industry? Do we know how much immigration influences the price of milk? How can we make immigration into the United States easier yet more secure for those looking to start a better life? These are some of the questions that are going to unfold throughout this speech. These, are little question, these little questions will answer the big question. How does immigration influence the U.S. dairy industry? Immigration affects all of us, indirectly and directly. We have all made our own opinion on this subject by now. This is an informative speech. It is not meant to persuade you one way or another. First, we will look at the U.S. dairy industry as a whole. The U.S. dairy industry is the third largest within animal agriculture, according to Intro to Animal Science by Stephen Damron. The average American consumes 267 pounds of dairy products a year, according to a 2012 study by the Wisconsin State Journal. Different dairy products include cheese, my personal favorite, ice cream, butter, milk, and yogurt. Damron says that we have seen a decreasing number of cows being milked, but more milk is being produced. This is due to advanced technology that we can produce more pounds of milk per cow. The overall increase in large dairy farms, there has been an overall increase in large dairy farms according to Damron. When the dairy operation grows, more labor is needed to run the day-to-day -day operations. Dairy cows are typically milked two times a day, seven days per week, 365 days a year. In large operation, milking is being done in the parlor 24 hours a day. Different jobs on a dairy farm include a manager, which is someone to feed and ration correctly, keep pens clean and bedded, and milk the cows in the parlor, and someone to bring the cows to the parlor to be milked from the lots. These jobs could be separate or combined depending on the operation. According to a journal posted by Texas A&M, 51% of the 150,000 dairy workers are immigrants and account for 79% of the total milk supply. Let's jump to how immigration affects the price of milk. If we were to remove immigrants from the dairy industry, retail milk prices would jump 90%. This is due to the reliance on immigration to get the jobs done around the farm. If we lost half of our workers, we would have to reduce the number of cows we are milking to compensate for our loss in employees. We would, then we would see a reduction of total milk being produced. With a low supply and a high demand, we, this is why we would see the milk prices skyrocket. This would mean consumers would find other alternatives to cow's milk like goat or sheep milk or non-livestock milk like almonds or coconut milk. We have seen what would happen to milk prices if we lost all immigrant labor. Now let's look at how this would affect other industries that rely on the dairy industry. A few different jobs that rely on the dairy industry are processing facilities, livestock nutritionists, veterinarians, artificial insemination technicians, truck drivers, and marketing. Eliminating immigrant labor would reduce U.S. economic output by $32.1 billion and reduce, in total, reduce employment by 208,000 jobs, according to Texas A&M. It would also negatively impact the U.S. corn industry, given that corn is a main staple in a cow's diet. We all know that undocumented immigrants here were, are here working on our dairy farms, but how are they hired? In a survey conducted by Texas A&M, they found that 38% of farmers who hired immigrant labor had low confidence in their employees' papers, 32% had a medium confidence, while 29% had high confidence. According to a USA Today report, the E-Verify system is an online system that employers can use to authenticate the identity and immigration status of the job applicant. It is easy and excellent easy and accessible for employers to use, but it is not foolproof. It is effective enough for now. This speech is not advocating for an open border or condoning illegal immigration, but rather showing the need for an immigration reform. 
One example of immigration reform is a working sponsorship. Many dairy farmers want to see their employees have a successful legal life. This sponsorship would be like the H-2A program that allows employers to get seasonal help. But this program would extend past one season because cows are being milked 365 days a year. The sponsor would assume responsibility for taking care of his or her sponsored immigrant. Through this speech, I gave background on the U.S. dairy industry, the jobs on a dairy farm, how immigration affects milk prices in other sectors in agriculture, immigration status, and reform. As I stated in the beginning of the speech, immigration affects all of us, especially when we can consume milk products. No matter what side of the party line you sit on, it is time to realize that immigration is in need of a reform for the sake of ice cream.